Okay, we're outside of the, uh, at, at the Southeast Anchor Library, and we're just finishing up with the Tracing Your Irish Ancestors program by Donna Moody. And this is Sandy Cole, uh, who attended the program. Um, Sandy, which is your local branch library, what, in what county? Carroll County. Carroll County. And which, which, of, which of the Carroll County branch libraries is yours? North. North. Okay, great. And um, what would you like people to know about the Pratt Library and our programs? Have you attended any other programs with us? I haven't and attended any programs, uh -huh. but I've done a lot of uh, visits oh, just for varying reasons over the years. Mm -hmm. And um, just that it's always fantastic. And all of the people involved are always so willing to help and they're just mm -hmm. helpful. So you've been down to do your, your uh, family history at the library? Yes, we did. We both, my sister and I, were just down there a little while. Um, but two months ago or so, and we did some research there. That actually, she went back with her daughter and happened in on, on a day when she got a brochure as advertising this. Oh, great. So it's great. great. Yeah. I'm reference librarian at the Washington County Free Library in Hagerstown, Maryland. I'm custodian of the Hagerstown, Maryland newspapers on microfilming, which are from 1790 to present. Uh, Pratt Library is the library of last resort for any hard to find reference uh, resources that other Maryland public libraries do not own. So it is a privilege to be able to access those at any time um, when a customer comes to us and asks us a very difficult question that we can't answer with our resources. What is your local library branch? Uh, White Marsh. For Baltimore County? Yes. Okay, great. And um, how do you use the library for genealogical research? Uh, well, I just started doing the uh, research. We, my sister and I, went down to the main one downtown, and um, basically wanted to go there just because of the history of the building itself, because it was so old. And I had never been there. She used to go when she was in high school at Western down there. So we went there the one day, and then now I've introduced my daughter to it. It's only 22, and the whole microfilm that she never knew what right. it was. So it was really cool, you know, okay. taking her down there to that. And I, I love library. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you did some research in the periodicals department and in, in that, the Maryland department? Uh, yes, in the Maryland department. Um, Jeff helped us with that. And then also um, we're able to research through the uh, phone records. You know, because we knew an address, but we didn't know anything else. So right. we were able to go back through the phone records that they had there and you know, locate who was in the household at that time. I'm at Harford County Public Library. I'm up at the Whiteford branch. We have a very active genealogy discussion going on there. So we had about two dozen people here today. Oh, okay. That was very good. A large part of your population was here. Yes. Terrific. Okay. Um, and why don't you tell me a little bit about the most uh, memorable family history program that you've attended? Okay. I think the Pratt genealogy lectures that they do on an annual basis are phenomenal. They always get a national speaker. I've been here to hear Tony Burroughs speak. Um, and then, of course, um, Maureen Taylor, the photo detective, she did a great one, and she even offered little one-on-ones, um, -on which were wonderful. Okay. It's, I think it's a wonderful program, and it's too bad you can't fill in on the board. Yes, yes. <laughs> so you've been coming for several years. Okay.